Hello, beautiful soul. I'm Sharon Spenson, Spenson Hypnosis, and welcome to the Joy Shot, Little Inoculations of Love. The intent of these short little videos are to convince you to nurture your positive mindset, to take that path because it feels good to feel good, to take that path because it's going to improve your mental and physical health. It's going to open you up to receive solutions and answers. It's going to bring the best of you out. That when we're in that place of feeling stressed and anxious, we're in that fight flight reptilian survival mode and our bodies shut down their healing abilities because they're focused on survival. That the healing and regeneration and restoration will come later, hopefully maybe when you fall asleep or, or take a nap. So that feeling good does so many positive things for you. It allows you to appreciate. It brings in harmony and a balance. But feeling good doesn't mean ignoring the uncomfortable. It doesn't mean pretending that you don't have negative feelings or emotions. It doesn't mean ignoring uncomfortableness in the body or the mind. It means showing up for them. So for instance, when I first started to make videos and post on YouTube, it brought up a lot of fears. Um, I wanted to for years, but I didn't because it felt too scary. People are going to judge me. I can't make them perfect. What are people going to think? And so many fears came up. Yay. I addressed those fears and anxieties as I showed up for myself, reminding me, so what? So what if people do judge you? So what if it does look amateurish? You'll get better. The quality of your recordings over time will get better, that you'll figure things out. You'll find your way so that by doing the YouTube videos doesn't mean I'm saying I've got it all together. I have it all figured out. No, no. In fact, it gives me the impetus to continue to improve and move forward. It gives me purpose and meaning. It feels good to be able to uplift and support other people. So that showing up for your fears doesn't mean giving them validity or believing that it's a statement of who you are and this is forever. Negative thoughts, like uh, uncomfortable feelings in your body are temporary, temporary, temporary. So just like when I'm working with people for pain relief, giving the message to the mind and the body that let's let go of unnecessary pain. But pain is a good thing. It can keep us from getting burned when we get too close to something incredibly hot. We don't want to do away with it. We want what we call our negative emotions or uncomfortable feelings like sharp or soft. They guide us to pleasure. They guide us to keeping ourselves safe. Oh, it is so wonderful. If you have the ability to smell, it can be part of the joy of eating. That part of the pleasure can be those delicious smells, but it can also keep us safe from eating stinky cheese that is toxic or eating bad fish. So to appreciate, yay, you have guidance. And don't buy into, just like I think of for yoga, there is a part of me that didn't want to move forward because it felt uncomfortable in my body. It felt um, taxing and, and kind of stressful to do what I felt at the time was very challenging. But as I showed up for myself 
And I address those fears about the body feeling temporarily uncomfortable. What I found is then I wanted to show up and do it because I would remember my initial inner wisdom, which was this feels right. This is going to make my body actually feel more comfortable and better and be more flexible and strong and allow me to do more of what I desire and want. And as I let go of doing yoga is hard and just relaxed into it. I found that I could do more challenging workouts and not have that discomfort as the muscles got stronger. And it's the same thing with my business, whether it was creating master classes or a course or a membership um, or doing packages or sessions. I felt uncomfortableness for all of that in the beginning. But what I know is that doesn't mean don't move forward. It means listen to that guidance. Show up for the fears and anxieties. Give them the comfort and the relief. Give them the higher wisdoms. Give them information. And it has so served me. So let's end this little joy shot with what I teach, which is self-hypnosis so that you can meet your uncomfortable thoughts and you can give them the soothing, the comfort, the softness, the relief that they call for so that you can sift through it because sometimes it isn't the time to move forward. Sometimes you do just need to let it go and back off. Sometimes you can just relax and let the support and the answer come. Sometimes you, you want to move forward with an inspired action and get more information or, or take an action step. So that's what I love about the self-hypnosis tool. When you practice it again and again and again, it can help you sift through and sort that all out. So we start, if this is your first time joining in, with a side breath, which hopefully everybody knows how to do. So, so just do a sigh. Let's do a sigh again. Okay, so where the hypnosis comes in is I start to take the sigh breath and help you associate positive feelings. So that like the Pavlovian technique where a dog starts to salivate when it sees food or smells food or hears the dog food can being opened, that you start to have positive attachments, that the sigh breath becomes this beautiful trigger to go to a place of centeredness, peace, and calm. So once again, go ahead and do the sigh breath. Exhale, let your eyes close and feel your body drop. Imagining the sound of my voice settles your muscles, lets things release, let go. Once again, do that side breath. Not on the exhale, feel this beautiful wave of physical relaxation and mental peace. Feel your shoulders drop. Your back, settle, relax, release. Keep doing that side breath, letting the sound in my voice guide you to this beautiful, open, receptive state within where you connect up with these feelings of lightness, softness, peaceful feelings, comfortable feelings. Take that beautiful side breath with me. And then on the exhale, just feel a letting go. Your muscles dropping, relaxing. Once again, do that side breath. On the exhale, maybe imagine a beautiful river of light coming from above, filled with this energy. Feels light, soft, comfortable, free. Maybe you feel a grounding feeling. A feeling of maybe, like a tree that 
goes down deep into the earth, giving it stability, giving it balance. Once again, take a beautiful deep breath. Like the sun shining on a beautiful day, feel this river of light coming from above, relaxing the muscles, stilling the mind. Maybe imagine like an old growth tree, roots going down deep into the earth where you can't see it, but imagining your roots spread down deep and wide, giving you a stability, giving you a balance. Once again, take that beautiful breath. And then on the exhale, feel this river of infinite love. Letting your body, stilling your mind, relaxing your muscles, giving permission with the sound of my voice, with a sigh breath, to let go, to receive these energies that feel light, soft, comfortable, and great. All right, opening up your eyes, coming back into this time and place. If you've enjoyed this video, do encourage me by liking it, maybe giving me a comment. If you want a certain video made to address something, I would love to do that for you if it's something that I can address. And so give a comment. I am working to, um, or I, I, I'll say instead, I'm playing to grow my YouTube channel, Svenson Hypnosis, that's capital S, capital H, the two are smushed together, S-V-E-N, S-O-N, Hypnosis, H-Y-P-N-O-S-I-S, and I'm working to um, reach a thousand subscribers. So I hope my recordings are supporting and blessing your life. Um, until next time, blessings and love.